so you you do scan for it, but hmm. um, fabricate the scanner room upgrades. Scanner room HUD chip streams data from scan. I need this. I need this in my life. How how do I get magnetite? I don't think I've found anything on that before. Um, Lifebot Seven transmission origin. Uh, Sunk to 200 meters in an area of low ecological activity. Transmission is probably one kilometer southwest of the Aurora Stern section. Uh, I'll have to look at those things at a later point. How? I can make more camera drones. Uh, scanner room range upgrade. Also magnetite. Scanner room speed upgrade. And also speed of scanner room functionality. I'm gonna need to find magnetite and a computer chip. Because otherwise I'm not sure how useful this is going to be to me. Um, what did I want? I think I... I wanted to make an entrance. I need more quartz. I need glass. Or... No, I... I'm confusing myself so much. All I need for this place right now is quartz... ...to make an entrance. Um, question, however, is... Is that going to work? If I were to build a... ...hatch... Um, ...that would be perfect, maybe. Or could I place it on this side? Yes, I can. Huh... The thing is, how do I want to build this place in the future? I could build another multi-purpose room on this side, possibly. Uh, random question. Could I build another multi- I can. Not sure why, but I can. Um, in that case, let me just build that hatch. And we'll place it on this side. And we can always remove it at a later point. We can always do something different. This is glorious. Ooh. Hmm. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Could I... Uh, let's see, where... Um, I had a bioreactor, right? Bioreactor. Wiring kit lubricant. Hmm. Do I need that much power, though? Like, right now, this place is working on those solar panels. It works absolutely gorgeous. Do I really need any more power in that case? Uh, not really. Okay, um, let's see. How are my marble melons doing? Slowly growing? Yeah. Sort of growing, not fully just yet. Okay. Um, I think we have enough stuff right now to build more of this. Do I need a bulkhead? That is mostly stuff that might be required when going even deeper into the ocean. But as of right now, not really. Uh, vending machine... I'm gonna require a trash can, most likely. Um, let's put you right over here. Safe and sound, no issue, no problem. Um, I could use a window here. Uh, do I have quartz? Do I have more quartz? Uh... No, I don't. Oh, I do. Great, in that case, give me glass. I want a window in this place. Uh, I thought I had quartz on me. There we go. Give me... I am a doof. I'm an absolute doof. It's difficult for me to do this, okay? Here we go, glass. Um, can I window right over here? Perfect. Okay, yeah, I'm loving this. I can see my neighbor stalker. Hi, neighbor. Uh, oh, and you in there. Perfect. And okay, that stays in there. Uh, does that disappear in time or? Yes, it does. Okay, good. Good. Uh, can I make anything else that I need right now? Oh, there's just so much stuff that I want to build. Battery charger. And modification stage. I need all this stuff. I need all this stuff. Um, uh -huh. I think I'm going to waste all my titanium. I'm going to... 
Over here I got some building materials, but I am going to need a bigger storage for them at some point. And if any room is going to be good for that, is this one. If I place stuff on every single wall over here, I'd be golden. I'd be absolutely golden, or so I hope. Uh, so, let's get started, shall we? And I completely ran out of titanite. Perfect. In any case, I have five, six, seven, eight lockers in total. Just what I want. Um, right now, though, in general, I need food. I'm gonna have to look around for that magnetite. I also, um, I'm, I'm just way too busy with building stuff right now that I'm not, f I'm not thinking clearly about what I need. I'm just totally encaptured by all of this. I need. Uh, don't need that, as of right now. A rebreather. Wiring kit and fiber mesh. How do I make a wiring kit? Silver. Do I have silver? I think I do. Two silver. Yes. Silver. Uh, fiber mesh. That should be enough for the rebreather, right? Please. There we go. You. Rebreather. Nice. Conserves oxygen. That means I can go below 100 meters without losing oxygen. So, you on top of here. I don't think I need to worry about radiation. Are we? Yeah, I think we're safe. I think we're safe, which means... Uh, huh. Okay, radiation helmet's going in here. I can get that still suit in that case. Not sure how that's going to work. Reclaim moisture from the body and provides clean drinkable water. Uh, no chemical taste neutralization, unfortunately, but... Equipped and capturing body moisture to chemically neutralize residual odors in bodily fluids before re-ingestion. Please press the activation button in the next three seconds. You have chosen not to activate chemical taste neutralization. Thank you and have a nice day. I will certainly have a nice day, mostly because there is no activation button in any single case. Uh, so, how exactly is that going to do anything for me? Um, right now, I don't need the habitat builder, I think. I have water, I don't need this many first aid kits. Um, are you ready? One, two, three. Perfect. Okay, I'm, I think I'm actually going to have to build, uh, build several of these marble melon stations. Because if they all grow, I'm only getting three at a time which fill me up. Which is not entirely enough to fully get me there. Is there anything else that I want to build towards right now? Uh, don't need the creature. Okay, that's actually better. One wiring kit plus three titanium equals three creature decoys. That could work. Like, I thought one creature decoy costs three titanium and a wiring kit, because that would be way too expensive. Um, yeah. Question. I fully... Okay, I don't have the stasis rifle. I fully... Researched the prawn suits. Didn't I? Uh, can I... Thank you. Okay, there's my stalker friend. Where is my floating device? Right over there, all the way. Maybe I need to move that? Not entirely sure. My current base is actually quite close to Aurora. I don't know what ways we can all go into. Okay, you. What do I need for the prawn suit? Uh, Neptune escape rockets. Titanium ingot, computer ship, lead. I could already start building that, but I need the titanium first. Prawn suit. Plast steel ingot aerogel enamel. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to be building that in the nearby future. Definitely not. That means I have those Seamoth upgrades, I think. Several upgrades. Also a Cyclops upgrade, I think. Not entirely sure about that or how useful that's going to be. So... Seamoth's over there. Where did I leave those upgrades? Found them. So, Seamoth and Prom storage compatibility and Seamoth depth module. Okay, you two. A Cyclops engine module, that's not going to work. 
I have these power cells too. I. Oh, whoa, 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 oh, oh boy, oh. Um, that power room is taking power. Um, can I turn you off? Can I turn you off? Stop scanning, please. You steal my power. I. I'm gonna need to build more power storage in general by using solar panels. This is not going to work for me like this. Um, okay, so I have those. Yes. What was I thinking about just now? Okay, I'm going to need to build more of those uh, solar panels. How do I make them again? Have to build them, please. Get back here. Solar panels, exterior. Like, I don't know how to make a thermal plant. Not sure. Uh, quartz, titanium, copper. Yeah, that's going to take a while. Going to have to find stuff. Uh, in the meantime, half that build goes back in here. I don't think I need the flare. I don't see how useful those are to me it, at all. I'm, I'm going to need food. Uh, no, I don't. I don't need food. I have enough food. I need water. Just a bit, but I'm okay with this. You, you had... Right over here, access upgrades. So can I just insert these? Like, uh, equip, equip, crush depth now 300 meters. Oh, that is glorious. Oh, hey. And you're my storage. Oh, this is great. Oh, I'm loving this. All right. Welcome aboard, Captain. In that case, and it shows the upgrades that I have down below. So I have four upgrades sold in total. Um, before I go out and do anything foolish, excuse me, I think I'm actually gonna bring one power cell with me, just one. Like you just know it's gonna be bad for me if I go on a trip, mess up, run out of battery, and of course it would happen right as you're fleeing from a reaper leviathan, which means you'd become food for the fishies. Uh, no, this bad. Um, and I think I... you're still growing. Uh, Bubble tree, you gave me a lot of water, right? I think you did. Yes, you're the water producer for me. There we go. And now you, can you please go away? Thank you. And absolutely perfect. Okay, that means we are fully stocked. I'm going to take one nutrient block. I should, I should be relying on the cured peeps and stuff, but eh, this works for me right now. So, that means I need resources. I'm going to need more blueprints. I'm going to need everything. I can go to stuff like that. Right now. Stalker? No? Okay. Well then, I think... Can you stop making noise, Gazapods, please? Thank you. Yeah. I think we might actually explore some of that kind of stuff. So, first things first, I'm gonna turn these camera drones off. I don't need them in any way right now. Um... So 300 meters, we could reach that. Um, let's see, you are 1,100 away. Where are the others? 1,100. Anything else? 1,300. I'm in the worst possible spot right now for all of these. I think we're going to go to that one. Sunk to the ocean bed. And in the meantime, we can pick up any kind of stuff that we find in regards to quartz and more titanium and other stuff. I want magnetite. Wherever I'm going to find that, I'm going to guess it's going to be lower. Deeper down. Um, yeah, I'm not going to stop for every single thing. Like, I could pick up all this junk, but... Ow. How useful is it going to be? Um, yeah, that's not going to be useful to me at all. Alright, so we can go to 300 meters right now. And my oxygen supply will also allow... Need to go deeper. Um, 
Oh. Okay, that was what I saw before. That looks amazing. What are these mushrooms of some kind? Or is it just a massive reef? Oh, those things. Um. I. Don't know how friendly these things are. Tree mushroom. Okay, is it of any use to me? Um, analysis of these large organic structures reveals a microcosm of cooperating. Dude! No, no, no. Go away, go away. The biomass in this area is dominated by plant life. Picking up faint all terra vehicle signatures. Faint all terra vehicle signatures? Okay, um, anyway, I was reading up on this, but kind of interrupted. Uh, cohabitating and competing life forms. The main trunk is a species of coral. Some colonies up to 50,000 years old. Oh boy. The caps, which line, uh, which line its share more in common with earth fungi. Other organisms grow on the structure wherever there is I keep get, I keep getting interrupted. What did I? Reclaimed water, less food, more purified reclaimed body water. Well, okay then. Less food because it's kind of horrible tasting, and H2O. Oh, that is great. Okay, that's still so. This is gross, but it's going to help me out. Um. Anyway. Uh, other organisms grow on the structure wherever there is space and light. Surrounding waters are dense with herbivorous life forms in the 1mm to 10mm range, to the extent that larger herbivores appear to have mostly abandoned the area. Assessment exploitable. In what way, though? And also, you. You're kind of terrifying me. Oh, there's multiple of them. Are you dangerous to me? Like, you're not as big as a reaper. Oh, there's a lot of you. Okay, can I... Can I... Jelly Ray. Uh, okay, they're not aggressive to me. Otherwise, they would have attacked me already. Jelly Ray. Hi. You're kind of beautiful. If you're indeed friendly, then... Huh. Definitely beautiful. Okay, Jelly Ray, Jelly Ray, Jelly Ray. Tell me what you know. Fauna, herbivore, herbivores large, Jelly Ray. This species has adapted to low light environments within a translucent or with a translucent luminescent body. This adaptation may help to light up the surrounding area for foraging, ward away predators, and identify the organism to others of its kind. Light sensitivity. Smaller creatures have been seen swimming in the jelly ray's wake to take advantage of the light source for their own ends, and the ray itself will approach light source, perhaps mistaking them for others of its own species. Assessment inedible. I wouldn't want to eat that. Possibly because it's a. Eh. I don't know. It looks gorgeous. Why would I kill that? Okay, so, um. This. This is one of those things that I might possibly be able to destroy with a prawn suit. That is copper. Oh god, yeah, I want a prawn suit. Definitely. Okay, so... I was going in that direction. Um, this place is gorgeous. Okay, so what about these green things on the side? Are those... Anything, or are they just... Tree spawn. Doesn't really tell me anything in that regard. Uh, tree leech. Hi. Are you just abusing these 50,000 year old stems? Uh, flora C. Tree leech. Parasitic fungus-like growth found attached to other life forms. An enzyme is released by the organism which dissolves a hole in the skin of the host from which it leaches nutri uh, nutrients directly. Mm. If the plant was alive, then maybe... 
be that would be bad, but it, 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 I don't know. <laughs> Outer tooth line jaw serves no identified purpose. Maybe used during an, a different stage of the organism's life cycle. Exploitable fungal enzymes. Yeah, like, could I grow those things in that case? Like, I don't see how that is going to be useful to me. As long as I don't know if I can do anything with it, then I have no reason to actually cut stuff open like that. In this case. Um. Oh, is that a salt deposit? Yes. I'm gonna have so much fun with it uh, once I get a prawn soup, but all those resources, like... I know nothing about any of them. Like, how the hell am I going to get any of that stuff? In the meantime, I'm still looking around for magnetite. Uh, really, you are gorgeous. Truly gorgeous. See? The ocean can be beautiful. As long as you don't deal with the freaking bloody massive reapers. Uh, is this anything? Crew cluster. No clue what it is, can't scan it. Oh well. Alright, um... That's not where we went. Uh, there. I am afraid of one thing though, like... All this over here, it's so friendly. All herbivores, no predators. And that's the part that frightens me. There are no predators. No predators whatsoever. Um, what are you? Nothing again. Oh well. <laughs> that's slightly bothersome that you can't scan everything. Okay, so that's where we need to go. Sunk to the seabed. But over here, there are no predators whatsoever. So, this would be the perfect place for a predator, maybe. Unless those jelly rays are actually dangerous, or n not edible, indeed. Hmm. Uh, are you lithium? Possibly can't do anything with you. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, oh. oh. I heard that. I heard that screech. And that screech... Is familiar to me. Oh, is, is it over there? Is that it? No, what are you? Oh, okay. From feeling safe, back to hell. <laughs> no, no. What was that? What was that? Something just tried to bite me, I think. I'm not sure what. Oh, that is horrible. That is absolutely horrible. I... Um, do you see something floating here? Um, what? I, I? Okay, no clue. Um, I don't feel safe here. I don't feel safe if one of those freaking reapers attacks me. I'm gone. Oh, whoa, whoa, what the? What are you? Okay, you're not friendly looking. That's electricity. Um, dude. Okay, I have definitely entered your area. Oh. Uh, it would be foolish to assume that you would power my lifeboat, right? At least I'm getting reclaimed water, which is great. You consume. It's horrible. Okay. Um, you're definitely not friendly. Amp eel. Oh, no. okay. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, definitely. Can I? I, I want to finish. Scanning you. Oh, this is a mistake. You're not that dangerous. Come on. Let me scan you. There we go. Okay. Get out of here. Get out of here. 
Okay. Leave the amp eel alone. Sounds like a smart idea. In the meantime, I'm gonna... I'm gonna hide over here. Totally according to plan. Amp eel is gone. Right over there. Oh, boy. Okay, you're not friendly. Um, I took a hefty hit of that, by the way. That's why you always take a health pack with you. Amp eel. Carnivore. A powerful and inquisitive... Uh, Inquisitive predator found inhabiting the deeper waters of the reefs and bulb bush colonies. Electrical prongs. Torso mounted prongs generate a powerful electrical current, which the amp eels use to incapacitate its prey. Noticed. Painful. A large flexible jaw studded with sharp teeth. If a faster, stronger and hungrier predator lives on the reef, it appears to avoid the amp eel. Avoid or incapacitate. Oh, darkness. Okay, um, so, it's gonna suck trying to get close to that. If that thing is swimming around here, at least it makes electrical visuals, which is great, which means I can at least see it. Ah, uh, but I don't like this. It's so open. Oh, more of those ampules here. Okay, this is what they were talking about, I think, with the... The bulbs. What are you? Car Come on, bulb bush. Okay, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Okay. Uh, oh, more of you. What are you? You're not the amp eel. Uh, am I safe from the amp eels? I think I am. Okay, uh, let's see, let's see. Bob Bush. This aquatic species has evolved to grow in deep, sandy environments. And to conserve its hydration levels against relative extreme external temperatures, the root system can fragment the shale rock it grows on to form a deep anchor point, allowing predators to graze, but not easily uproot the entire plant. This grazing will tend to dislodge parts of the plant, and each section is capable of growing into a fully... ...volcanic activity and several unusual electromagnetic signatures in the region. Exercise caution when diving deeper. You think I haven't been exercising caution? What was that? Okay, you're not friendly. <laughs> oh my god. This place is beginning to suck a lot. Oh my god, that terrified me. Okay, um... I want to read this further, thank you very much. Uh, fully formed adult plants explaining the concentrations of bulb bush in some parts of the world. Uh, assessment edible in small quantities, high water content. I don't think I need that though. What I do need is my repair tool. There we go. Because my Seamoth is taking a beating. Come on. Perfect. Alright, uh, I'm... I'm really not sure about this. Like, my battery is slowly going down. I'm trying to continue. Uh, are you something scannable? Cyclops Bridge Fragment. Don't mind if I do. But that does mean I need more pieces for this Cyclops. Like, it consists out of multiple things. Uh, I kind of want to wait for daytime. That means I can actually see what I'm doing in this place. <laughs> what did I just hit? Really? What? The hell did I just hit? Um, are you the shale outcrop? Yes. Okay, diamond. Okay, so indeed, the deeper you go... The more rare the resources you find. Which does make me wonder. Uh, the islands. Oh, you attack the... Uh, okay, I hate those ambials. The islands, it had chill out crops. With the, the massive alien turret thing. What is it? 
Was that some, uh, maybe uprooted, perhaps? Oh, my. Um, this thing is pretty massive. Oh, my God. Um, can I enter this somehow? I can. Oh. God. Oh, this might be a terrible mistake. This might. Stasis rifle fragment. This was a, ter a, a brilliant idea. Where's my flashlight? I want my flashlight. Oh, God. This is going to be terrible for me. This is going to be absolutely terrible for me. Um, modification station fragment. Yep, this was totally worth it. I'm getting all kinds of blueprints right now. Which I'm loving. Stasis rifle fragment. Uh, you're just gonna give me titanium right now. Yeah. Uh, benches. Chic plant pot. Oh, so I have choice that too. Huh. Great. Uh, this place is so gonna confuse me. I'm gonna miss stuff. 100%. I hope it's not gonna be too important. Um, okay. Enter the Seamoth. You have just become my local oxygen supply. Which I hope I don't need that badly. Oh my god, this is gonna be hell to navigate. Where the hell is this going? Oh, this is a terrible idea. Okay, um, I see. Modification station fragment? Hi! Okay, um. Modification station, good. Uh, that's a modification station for me. Oh my god. And the indoor growth bed. I already got that, don't need that. Modification station, great. Okay, so I got... Ooh. Hi. Uh, reinforced dive suit. Interesting. Oh. God, where did I came from? <laughs> Down here. Okay. Uh, you. Water, okay with that. Anything else of use? No upgrades on these things? No, it doesn't look like it. Um, I'm gonna go back to my Seamoth. I need the oxygen. This is terrifying. I am oh so going. Oh, wrong way, wrong way. I'm oh so going to drown. You just know it. You just know I'm gonna drown like this. Aboard, Captain. Okay, um... Data bank, uh, I got, let's see, where is it? Modification station, where the standard fabricator automatically rearranges raw materials to form complex devices. The mod station is able to combine complex devices to enhance their function. Most industrial vessels are fitted with a complement of equipment modification stations, which enable engineers to adapt their tools on the fly. To conserve half hard drive space, the modification station is excluded by default from most personal emergency blueprint libraries. However, extreme environments such as ocean and desert class planets may necessitate the adaption of basic survival tools for unanticipated applications. It sounds kind of like my situation right about now. For this reason, access to a mod station is always recommended. Yes. And we also got a reinforced dive suit. This suit is reinforced with synthetic fibers to reduce incoming physical and thermal damage. Um, I have not really encountered any thermal high active area, so this kind of frightens me. Uh, shock absorption reduces physical impact velocity by approximately 50%. Rated for temperatures up to 70 degrees. Oh boy, you are not invulnerable when wearing this suit. <laughs> yeah. Reinforced dive suit. Why take chances when you can take Altera? Honestly, I'm not entirely sure if Altera is that great, because it seems to me they've been cutting on a lot of costs to save on life pot functionality stuffs. Okay, so we have a lot of oxygen right now. Um, that's where we found that thing. We have... Nothing over here. Anything else? Is there anything left in this place? That might be of any use to me. Um, 
I might have found everything right now. I'm not sure. It doesn't look like there is more. It looks like this is everything. So I think I'm just going to leave. And we're not even near to where we need to be. Like it's over there in that direction. Near the amp eels. And, uh, nope, wrong way. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, uh, no cuttable doors or anything. Can I open this? I can. Well, I guess we're not entirely... Uh, where did I just... That's what I opened. Is this the... This is not the big room we were just in. I need oxygen. Okay. These shipwrecks. Uh, more oxygen, please. Thank you. These shipwrecks are really amazing, but you have to look in every single direction because you don't know if there's something that you missed. You get completely turned upside down. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, anything over here that's just normal junk? You. Ooh. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Where is my laser cutter? This is why I bring the laser cutter with me. Of course, this takes so freaking long. I wonder, can we get even more oxygen? Like, is there a even bigger oxygen supply of a uh, air, air tank or something? Oh god, okay. Ooh, PDA. And a... Okay, can't open that door. Uh, data box, Cyclops sonar upgrade. Don't need that as of right now, but I'll take it. Got a battery, um, keeping my eye open for possible stuff that I can scan, even though I already have it. Abandoned PDA. Well, hello. New uh, PDA data. You're closed. I think that right now that is almost everything. Unless there's something over here, down here, possibly. Doesn't look like it. No, in that case... Get out of here. We're done. We're absolutely done. Let me read up on this PDA. Alright, let's see. You, where are you, PDA? Public documents, the charter. Definitions, Transgov, an independent authority in the facto control of at least one solar system and phase gate. Citizen, a person who consents, consciously or implicitly, to the authority of a recognized Transgov. The Charter, the full legal contract agreed upon by 37 separate Transcovs and summarized herein. The Transcov Federation, the TSF, military police charged with the enforcing the terms of the Charter, independent of but funded by the Transcovs. So it's just one massive pyramid scheme, sort of. Trans system phase gate, any permanent installation which enables warping of spacefaring vessels between solar systems. Uh, Transgov principles. Each trans government is to have an equal right to the most extensive basic liberty compatible with a similar liberty for others. Each has the right to own phase gates and planetary infrastructure. Each has an obligation to share phase gate access with other transgovs on fair terms at no cost to themselves. Each has an obligation to financially maintain and comply with the TSF. Two, each transgov has the right to self government uh, subject to. Uh, I have no idea how useful that is in any way to me. Sounds like a whole freaking bunch of mumbo jumbo and it's daylight and I want to get... Ooh. Um, I think I found a thermal vent. It is pretty clear that diving deeper holds a large amount of valuable supplies which might be vital to our survival. There is still a lot of water to explore and a lot of secrets left to be found. <laughs>